Welcome back. NASA is taking its next step towards sending Americans back to the moon and beyond. Yeah, after years of development and tens of billions of dollars, the space agency's next generation mega moon rocket started making its way to the launch pad. CBS 4's Danya Backus has more. Inch by inch, NASA's new space launch system, or SLS, spent the night on its first trip to Launch Pad 39B at Cape Canaveral. The four mile trip is the first step in the Artemis generation's journey. Our mission is to get back to the moon. Americans haven't walked on the moon in nearly 50 years. In a few weeks, NASA will conduct a round of tests to determine how soon the spacecraft can fly. Well, anytime you have a brand new rocket system, you want to test it out on the ground before you actually light it off. Once NASA gives the green light, the 17 million pound rocket will launch the Artemis 1 mission with mannequins aboard the Orion space capsule on a trip beyond the moon and back. It could happen as soon as late May. This is really like the last big test drive to prove that the vehicle is ready to go and is ready for us to get the crew in there and, and start exploring. As soon as 2024, Americans will land on the moon again and make history for a different reason. NASA has been saying all along that the very first mission uh, that carries astronauts all the way to the surface of the moon uh, will include the first woman to walk on the moon and the first person of color. The massive space launch system is NASA's largest to date. The mega rocket with the Orion capsule attached stands 32 stories high, taller than the Statue of Liberty. It is the biggest rocket, the most powerful rocket assembled to date by anyone. It's also the most expensive rocket uh, NASA has ever built at about $4.1 billion dollars a flight. NASA is counting on the moon to eventually house an astronaut training colony and act as a pit stop on the way to Mars and beyond. Don Yabakis, CBS News.